Okay, people, John Shaughnessy here. Going over a couple of possibilities for the possible magnetic field swap that we seem to be going towards. Just figure I'd throw out another possibility. And yes, it's human activity, as usual. It's the humans, the uh, beautiful people, all the beautiful people out there that like to have power. The power grid is the reason for the Earth's magnetic field swap. Some power from the grid goes to ground. What does that mean? Well, we're going to find out in the next few minutes. Here's the sun giving us a little CME blast right here. And you get your, uh, you know, Van Allen belt, magnetic field, if you will, that protects us from being barbecued at a daily basis. A minute, minute to minute basis, second a second, millisecond a millisecond, who knows, nanosecond. So we do get our protection from the magnetic field. As you know, it's weakening. It's, um, it's dropped off 10 to 15 percent in the last, I don't know, uh, 50 years, I think. So when the field weakens, that means you have more potential for this radiation to actually touch down, break through the magnetic field, and start causing buku problems for, uh, you know, life in general on planet. Not just humans, all life. So with that in mind, um, I'm gonna just jump right into this. Tell you what I've been thinking about. There's another view of the old, um, planet Earth and uh, that's kind of the magnetic field right there. Everything's looking good, nice and strong, protecting us from the solar radiation. There's another shot of it right there. Now uh, re a reversal is basically, you know, when the, uh, the uh, you know, the, the, the pole swap. You have a positive and negative or a south and north pole and they'll swap and they'll cause uh, buku problems, tectonic plate. Uh, movements you'll have all sorts of other issues going on so it's not going to be a fun place to uh, to live and uh, we haven't had a pole swap in 700,000 years cut due to some ancient geoengineering um, this is uh, you know a little shot from the from space there and um, this basically shows you, you know, what's going on during the daytime also. I mean, we don't have the lights, but this is light pollution in uh, North America, United States of America, Mexico, Central America, South America, Canada. And this is all around the world. This is like every continent now is lit up like a Christmas tree. And, um, you know, that's a problem. That's a big problem because all this electricity that you see is being used here to generate these lights, a good percentage of it goes to ground and goes into the earth. And what I'm proposing to, um, you know, throw out there for a new theory, a new theorem as to why the, uh, you know, magnetic field is getting um, weaker and it's looking like uh, things are kind of coming out of whack as far as the poles. The poles are uh, doing a beeline for Siberia 200 miles a year now and um, picking up speed exponentially and also the south pole is off of the uh, is out of its normal axis. Generally the, the uh, north and south pole stays pretty close to the axis but um, it, would see, it would see it would seem excuse me that the ascension of the industrial revolution yeah, with the you know the progression of the uh, electrical utility industry has been uh, markedly tracked together and they do uh, seem to um, coincide with the advancement of our technology is the also the increase of uh, electric power going to ground so that's gonna it's gonna cause some problems here's your high tension wires here uh, these things uh, crisscross the whole planet now. They're everywhere. Every country, um, county, state, whatever they have, it's everywhere. And uh, every one of these, any, every one of these, um, you know, towers, have, they're grounded anyways. But the uh, that's not where the the actual ground uh, volume of electricity flow is actually here at the. Uh, at the home 
a lot of, a lot of your power at the where it's being used is um, you know goes to ground so and industry also you know industry commercial industrial you name it also you know there's grounds and power plants that uh, you know the electricity flows into ground so basically what's going on is we're electrifying the planet we're screwing up the uh, geodynamo electric uh, magnetic motor of the planet earth and um, uh, basically, we're messing with the magnetic field with our uh, residual voltage leaking into ground. Here's a typical, this is America, we have a typical wiring configuration. These little doodads right here with a little upside down tree, that is a ground. That's going into ground. Every one of those little um, outlets, when you uh, plug your, your um, plug into a socket, a wall socket, or receptacle, the neutral wire is basically connected to this. Now, you know, the mainstream brainiacs out there will tell you this, there's no voltage flowing to ground. But I beg to differ. If you wet the ground and, um, you know, there's a, there's a uh, you know, a big load on the neutral uh, line coming out of your house, basically you have two black wires, two insulated wires and a, and a neutral wire. And um, that neutral wire is connected to this ground wire, which we'll get into in a few seconds. This, and um, it basically, uh, you know, is connected to ground. So voltage does leak into the ground from this system. Not a lot, but it's still quantitatively, if you look at the whole planet as, as a, uh, you know, a giant uh, electric grid, which it is right now on, on most of the continents, or all the continents, this is basically the configuration. Now every this is Europe. They basically have the ground too. It's so it's it's um, you know. So anyways, a lot of the residual uh, power that's being consumed goes into the ground. So um, that's messing up the magnetic field in the Earth. Um, it's causing a problem with it. It's cut. It's weakening it. It's um, you know. It's it's basically. The, the outer the outer um, what do you call it, crust of the planet was 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 its insulation right but now you have these things sprinkled by the billions these ground rods going in every house every you know factory restaurant you name it has one of these things banged into the ground with a wire connected to it and it does it does give off uh, it does bleed voltage into the earth now you look at you have these all over the planet. Um, that once uh, nice insulating um, crust of the earth, if you will, or the grade of the earth, or the, you know, the, the, the ground we walk on, the grade has now been electrified at, at, at some points. And in some, in some places, it's more conductive than others. I mean, if you got ground that's wet with a little bit of salt on it and ties into, say, you know, the ground, ground table or the water tables, you're going to have a voltage flow. Um, so, uh, basically we haven't had a magnetic pole swap in over 780,000 years. So we've gone through basically, I'm, only, I'm showing you three ice ages here. We've gone through seven ice ages. That's, that's basically losing the, the polar caps and having the, uh, you know, the land mass on the polar caps actually rise up as they do in the uh, interglacial period when everything melts because of the the weight basically bleeds off into the ocean as a cycle we've managed to go through you know seven of these uh interglacial thaws without having a pole swap um that's because some ancient geoengineering was uh done and uh you know with 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 i'm going to say the p word everybody block their ears pyramids pyramids control the um you know the magma currents deep within inside the earth off of the moon's energy. I'm not going to go off topic here. I just wanted to throw that out there. But the, the, main, the main point I'm trying to make here is that we go in and out of these ice ages without pole swaps. So why are we having uh, what look, looks like a potential for a pole swap right now? Um, oh, there's the pyramids. And uh, the reason is, is the uh, voltage is interfering with the with the magnetism in the Earth's inner core, uh, liquid iron core. So 
but basically grounding out the magnetic field with all our um, power generation on the planet. So that needs to be dealt with. Uh-oh, sliding a little advertisement at the end of the movie. I just hate when I do that. Anyways, this, this right here is the, uh, you know, this is what your ancestors put together. They built a, a, a global pyramid complex to deal with, um, you know, going in and out of ice ages and external uh, cosmic forces of radiation and, and uh, other, other uh, you know, potential energy sources. So um, it's, it, these things do stabilize the uh, magnetic field that is uh, prior to the Industrial Revolution of, uh, you know, the uh, human species on the, on the Earth. So we are, in effect, damaging the magnetic field on the planet with our electric production. Um, so, you know, that's it. I just, I'm just throwing it out there. I just wanted to, uh, you know, give you a, give it, throw something out there that kind of makes some sense. Um, no one's really looking at that. And um, I think the reason is, uh, you know, they're, they're, they can't figure out why. And so we have to look at our own, our own um, activity on the planet. So um, suggestions, take the grounds off. You know, I, I mean, you know, the grounds are there for protection and everything else, but you know, would you rather have a stable planet or, uh, you know, lose a uh, couple of electronic components during a lightning strike? I think I'll uh, opt for the, uh, the nice uh, balanced uh, planet that's nice and calm and uh, got a nice uh, little feel to her, you know? She, she's doing pretty good. Well, she was anyway. So there's, there's uh, still time to uh, back out of this uh, conundrum that we find ourselves in. I'm gonna run a little video showing you a pole swap. It's pretty cool. Right, give me a... All right, here's the uh, magnetic field as we see it today. Um, nice and blue. You know, as you can see, it's starting to swap around and it just swapped and went red up top and blue on the bottom. So it's the uh, south pole on top and uh, now the North Pole on on the bottom. That's just a, uh, you know, a magnetic, you know, f field swap. But with that comes a lot of destructive, um, you know, anomalies to the planet. So.